Hello friends, welcome back to the second part of the three tier simple app that we created. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do is we'll just create the logging for the application that we have. Uh, if you see, this is the config file. It has got a log analytics workspace and an application insights resource. So how it works is like application insights uh, is backed by a log analytics workspace so all the data all the logging that you do is actually getting stored in your log analytics workspace and you can either use the application insights or you can directly query the log analytics workspace so if you see my screen uh if we have got the front end and the back end resources uh what we're going to do is we will just use the application insights that we will create so how you do that is you have the app settings and you provide the uh, the configuration for the app insights instrumentation key and since we don't want you know to hard code it we are just calling it now, i'll make sure this is available in my repo so you can just you know play around with it uh, we did we just ran a plan and let's see how that goes this is our front end. Yeah, this is the app service, uh, the website, the front end that we created in our last episode or the last video. Currently, application insights is not enabled. If you see. Yeah, the plan is in progress. Let, let, let's go back and see. Yeah, so currently we have not got the application insights enabled for the front end or the back end. So we will be creating the log analytics workspace. We'll create the application insights. And in the app settings, we will provide the required details. So our front end and back end, you know, can log into our app insights. And as we know, uh, Log Analytics and App Insights, it's a Microsoft Azure's logging capabilities, you know, so you can use that for logging from your applications. It will give you lots of insights. Uh, how you can do availability checks. You can have an application map. You can query for traces. You can query for errors. You can query for uh, issues error 500s you can you have a lot of insights from there and that's what we are trying to do for our application so in case suppose we have an issue and we want to know what was actually happening we can just go and see in the app insights so currently i'm running my terraform apply it will create my resources and also enable the logging for our front end and back end it's currently disabled and let's see let's uh, you know keep an eye on our apply if we have an error we will fix that uh, I think it should be all right but yeah let's see I mean, there are lots of tools and uh, I mean people use Datadog or for front-end people use log rocket or sentry or anything but uh, all of these can be done with just application insights and Microsoft is working really hard. I mean, the, the way they have improved application insights is commendable. I'll show you at the end of this video, like how, what kind of insights you can get from the application insights. Right, so now if you see zero to add, five to change, zero to destroy. All right. So we are just adding the app settings. We are providing the application insights instrumentation key. 
the changes have been applied so now uh, the application insights should be enabled in our application the front end and the back end so if you uh, okay so this is the front end and you can see it is enabled uh, if you just if you check the instrumentation in your application so currently i have not defined what what stack my front end is i have just created the infrastructure for it so if you see you will have you can have dotnet dotnet core node.js java python and how you need to instrument like the way uh, these each application run times would actually log will be different so to do that instrumentation there is an application setting let me first define the application stack for our front end application let's assume it's a node node.js application and the allowed values Yeah, 14 LTS is going out of support, so probably 16 or 18. So it allows 18. So let's use 18 LTS. That looks all right. And if we ch check the back end. that should be good let me quickly save it and okay there is this double quotes i need to remove that remove it yeah that's the, it looks good okay no errors reported so save and do a plan again we are continuing from our last video so if you haven't watched that yet please go ahead and check it out we have created the entire application application infrastructure from scratch currently we are just working on the logging side of things Alright, so the node version 18 LTS is not allowed. That, that yeah, this is this is a problem with Terraform sometimes. If you're not using the latest version. Alright, so let's go with 16 LTS. This should be alright. Terraform plan again. These are our, uh, this is our application insights resource that we have created. And that's in our code. That's the backend function, which throws 403 because we have made sure that the backend is not available or not accessible publicly. The entry point is always the front end application. The database as well as the backend is not reachable via the public endpoint. This is our log analytics workspace. If you uh, want to learn more about Log Analytics Workspace, you will need to learn a query language called Custo. You can also configure SQL Insights, but I don't think Terraform 
uh, has that available yet that is for your azure sql database or azure sql managed instance you can use that uh, solution to have some sort of uh, insights from azure sql database or managed instance all the queries that you know all, all the logs that you have in log analytics workspace you can query it and yeah azure provides you some sample queries that you can use you can write your own it's very similar to S sql For example, if you want to see failed operations, you just click there or you and you can run it. Currently, we don't have anything logged because we have not started using our application. We will do that in some time. We have done the plan. Let's run the apply. While this keeps running at the background, you know, you can keep I mean, exploring our log analytics and app insights. It's like a one stop solution for all your logging needs. And then you can use Azure Monitor. So the custom queries that you will write in Log Analytics Workspace or in App Insights, you can use that query to create alerts. So it gives you an entire, you know, uh, logging monitoring and alerting stack so log analytics workspace app insights and azure monitor in conjunction will solve all your logging needs the apply is running all right so we have applied the changes let's see our front end application For some reason, the portal is quite slow today. Yeah, I've seen the status, Azure status, and it says there are some issues going on. Yeah, the, the portal is really sluggish. Let's check our backend if the logging is enabled uh, internet looks all right not sure why it's so sluggish okay so the backend the function app has the log analytics i mean sorry the app insights enabled as you can see let's go to our app insights you will see a few requests that i made and yeah you can we are all set let's fire a few you know just try to access it it will log something so let's see what happens when we do that you'll see a few requests and yeah i mean this this uh, you you need to know more about app insights what to check where to check you can see all the transactions so this is basically all the requests and traces that we made from our front end and back end so like all the visits visits that we made to the application it kept logging in our app insights which stores data in our log analytics workspace You can see so many traces, so many requests. Yeah, we just fired those requests and as you can see, we have it all logged in our app insights. Do explore the app insights. See, it is very powerful. If configured properly, it will give you the entire distributed trace from where it originated till the end. 
to the database it will give you everything and if you see it gives you an application map in case of a you know distributed architecture you have so many resources uh, it will create the application map inside uh, map itself you can search all the live metrics you can have availability configured you can see all the failures you can see some performance metrics so app insights backed by log analytics workspace is your one-stop logging solution this is how it creates this end-to-end -end transaction so it's a very distributed you know uh, trace that it creates using the operation id and yeah that's it we have configured the logging and thanks for watching keep supporting Thank you.